Well guys, it's that time of the month where I make a random video that nobody wants to see, where I just rant about something and it's probably not even gonna get that many views, but I am so passionate about this that I'm willing to walk to Washington to figure this out. Now I grabbed actually some random iPhones that were in my drawer, but these are actually super relevant because after seeing a bunch of different reports and basically all these reports are saying the same thing, that iPhone sales have gone down, that they're this, that they're that, that they're not selling as much as they are. And surprisingly, the iPhone XR is the best selling iPhone as of, you know, since its release, which is actually not that surprising because it's one of the newest, cheapest models that you can buy besides the A plus and the iPhone 8. But, but I find it super interesting. And I think I saw a lot of people talking about this on Reddit as I usually do. And people do, I'm telling you, the subreddit of Apple, they bring up so many good points, but I think Apple is in a situation now that they pretty much stopped caring about iPhones. And I know that seems like a hard thing to believe. Like, I'm not trying to say like Apple's done, like they're not focusing on anymore. Like they definitely are. But I think the tactics that they used to use just aren't working anymore. And they're still stuck in the past. And they can definitely do so much better if they just focus on their attention and start putting more emphasis on these devices. Now, I have the 10s and the 10R here. I have the 10s Max right there charging. And I find it even more weirder that this year's iPhones, the iPhone 11 or whatever it's going to call, this is a fake, this is not real. But this year's iPhone, the main biggest hardware change potentially is going to be the camera. And there's going to be some cool little features with it too. But I think they're in a situation where they could do so much better. You know, they're kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I would say probably ever since the iPhone 7 Plus, they've been really just doing the same thing. Literally just literally copying over and over again. And they're adding more camera sensors to this. But in terms of everything else, the iPhone 11 will look exactly the same everywhere else lightning port same size screen as the tennis and tennis max but i just feel like they could do so much better and what i mean by that is if you look at phones like the samsung galaxy s10 plus or the samsung galaxy s10 samsung and other phone manufacturers they literally put everything they can into their devices whenever their phone is released so whatever the best technology they have at the time most usually most probably they go ahead and update those devices to you know what's what they have in the market you know triple camera sensors still keep the headphone jack which is you know they already had but the hole punch display and they're not afraid to go and like switch up the design language or anything like that they're not afraid to do it and maybe samsung isn't like the best selling in terms of their s series devices or anything but they still sell a lot but the fact of the matter is is that most usually whatever they have at the time whatever the best products whatever the best panels whatever the best whatever they throw all of that into their phone at one time OnePlus is also a perfect example. Look at the OnePlus 7 Pro. They literally took all the best parts of almost every single phone in built fingerprint sensor, bezel-less design, pop-up camera, which could be a pro, could be a con. They did sacrifice some wireless charging and some other things too in IP certification, but they really did put as much as they could onto the device, you know, 90 hertz refresh rate screen. Like they put a ton of things into their phones and if you look at Apple, they're still stuck in their old ways. I would say ever since like the 7 Plus, but even since like the iPhone 6, that's where everything started. This is the success, but you guys know what I mean. Like the same type of layout, the same type of everything. It's like they just keep photocopying the same thing over and over again. They're doing the same thing with the iPhone 10 and the 10s Max, and they're just going to copy that same design language over and over again. And and even though this year we have so many new products, we have the 90 hertz refresh display, we have the inbuilt fingerprint sensor in the screen, we have so many different things. But based off the rumors and based off everything we're hearing, it still looks like Apple is going to go and stick with that same design language. And maybe that's not their focus right now. Maybe they're not trying to sell the most iPhones, but maybe they're just trying to go and sell their services or something. But they are just not doing themselves a favor, I'm telling you guys. If they just focus on the hardware and try to make it, you know, putting, like they already have probably the best technology. They, they're they probably already making the iPhone 12 of next year, but they're purposely and strategically not putting all their best panels and parts and whatever into a phone so they can kind of, you know, play the long game so they can kind of put a little bit of patience and stretch things out in terms of time so they can make more profit that way. And I don't know, man, I feel like they could do a lot better. I feel like if they just put their time and effort into putting the best products that they have at the time, the best whatever, the best parts into their phones at the time that they have them, then that would be amazing. And I feel like more people would be inclined to not bash them as much and actually go and support them. The iPhone 10 in my opinion, was a pretty good step, I think, even though I kind of bashed it a lot. I think this was a pretty good step. It's their best-selling iPhone right now. So they obviously did something right. But with their main flagships, like, they didn't really change that much. And with iPhone 11 coming this year, it seems like it's the same thing. They're honestly just, like, sabotaging themselves by purposely postponing these products and everything. So what I'm saying is, Apple is purposely like not caring, not supporting, and not sourcing their best products and parts for these phones at the time of their release. They're purposely kind of like stretching things out so they can make more profit so phones don't get too advanced too fast and people won't update. Even though the technology exists, they're not going to remove the notch anytime soon. We're already seeing reports that in 2020, the notch is supposed to get smaller, but it's still going to be there. I think by 2021, it's going to be gone, but... I don't know, man. I feel like they could do so much better, but that's my ranting for today. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. If you guys don't, 
I'll try my best to kind of, I guess, explain it in the description below or something, but that's just kind of what I've been thinking. I've been doing a lot of comparisons, a lot of reviews and stuff, and this is something that I've been thinking about. I know this video is not going to get that many views, but that's just something that I'm thinking, but that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out, but more importantly, that everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.